Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to a new episode of Fun with English, Grade 4, Book 4A, Episode 2, from Unit 3, Animal Kingdom. I am Sakina Kankuni, and today I will present vocabulary and reading comprehension. Let's start with your previous homework. Let's go through your answers and check them together. You had a homework on your pupil's book, page 43 and 44. Read the story, the mark, true or false. Now let's check your answers together. Number one, bees make honey. It's true. Number two, the weather is cold and rainy in the story. It's false. And number three, bees fly from flower to flower. It's true. So the answers are true, false and true. All right, boys and girls. Now let's start our episode with the new vocabulary. Our first word for today is life cycle. Life cycle. Life cycle. Repeat after me, please. Life cycle. Life cycle. Life cycle. Life cycle is a noun, which means changes that living things go through from birth to death. Again, Life cycle means changes that living things go through from birth to death. Look at the picture. We can see the life cycle of a chicken. Let's use the word life cycle. Most insects share the same basic life cycle. Most insects share the same basic life cycle. All right, boys and girls. Next, we have the word stage. Stage, stage, repeat after me, stage, stage, one more time, stage, great job boys and girls, stage is a noun, stage is a noun, look at the picture, we can see butterfly life cycle, in butterfly's life cycle we have four stages, the butterfly's life cycle has four stages, the butterfly's life cycle has four stages. All right. Next, we have the word caterpillar. 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 It's a noun. Repeat after me. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Which means the larva of a butterfly which has segmented worm-like body with three pairs of true legs. Again, caterpillar is the larva of a butterfly, which has a segmented worm-like body with three pairs of true legs, like the picture. So, caterpillar is the larva of a butterfly. It's a noun. Let's use the word caterpillar in a sentence. One day, this caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. One day, the caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. Next, we have the word colorful. 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 It's an adjective. Repeat after me. Colorful. 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 Well done, boys and girls. Look at the picture. Colorful means many colors something which has many colors. Let's use it in a sentence. My room is colorful. My room is colorful. All right, boys and girls. Our next word for today is spider. 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 Repeat after me, please. Spider. 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 Spider is a noun. Look at the picture. I can see a spider. Let's use spider in a sentence. The spider has eight legs. The spider has eight legs. Can you use the word spider in a sentence? Great job, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls. Next, we have the word abdomen. 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 Repeat after me, please. Abdomen. 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 Abdomen is a noun. Let's use it in a sentence. 
The spider has an abdomen. The spider has an abdomen. Next we have the word wild cat. Wild cat. Wild cat. It's a noun. Look at the picture. I can see a wild cat. Repeat after me. Wild cat. Wild cat. Wild cat. Great job, boys and girls. Let's use the word wild cat in a sentence. Wild cats live in jungles. Wild cats live in jungles. Great job, boys and girls. We have the word lizard. 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 Look at the picture. It's a lizard. Repeat after me. Lizard. 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 Lizard is a noun. Let's use it in a sentence. Lizards live in deserts. Lizards live in deserts. Can you use the word lizard in a sentence? Yesterday, I saw a lizard. Great job, boys and girls. Now let's move to the next word. We have the word change. 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 In present, it is change. In the past, I will say changed. 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 Repeat after me. Change. 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 And in the past, changed. 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 Changed is a verb. Look at the picture. It changed its color. The lizard changes its color to hide. The lizard changes its color to hide. Again, change is a verb. In present, I say change. And in the past, the past form of the verb change is changed. Great job, boys and girls. Next, we have the word seagull. 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 Repeat after me, please. Seagull. 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 Great job, boys and girls. Seagull is a noun. Look at the picture. I can see a seagull. She likes feeding the seagull. She likes feeding the seagull. Can you use seagull in a sentence? I'm sure you can. That's all with the vocabulary, boys and girls. Now let's have some practice. I want you to read and choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. Number one. We are going to space the time of our meeting tomorrow. Dima has an exam. We are going to space the time of our meeting tomorrow. Dima has an exam. A. Sting. B. Fill. C. Change. Or D. Move. We are going to space the time of our meeting tomorrow because Dima has an exam. Is it A. Sting? B. Fill. C. Change. Or D. Move. What do you think, boys and girls? What's the correct answer? That's right. It's C. Change. We are going to change the time of our meeting tomorrow. Dima has an exam. Number two. A spider has a head, eyes, legs, and a or an space. Again, a spider has a head, eyes, legs, and a or an space. A wing, B abdomen, C stage, D nose. Again, A wing, B abdomen, C stage, or D nose. What does a, a spider has? That's right. A spider has an abdomen. A spider has a head, eyes, legs, and an abdomen. That's right, boys and girls. Number three. The life cycle of a butterfly has four stages. A. Stages, B. Abdomens, C. Eyes, or D. Styles. Again, the life cycle of a butterfly has four stages, abdomens, eyes, 
or styles? What do you think, boys and girls? That's right. The answer is stages. The life cycle of a butterfly has four stages. Great job. That's all with the vocabulary and the practice, boys and girls. Now let's move on to another part of this episode, which is reading comprehension. Tips for reading. Number one, read the text more than once. Number two, read the questions. Number three, read the first sentence of each paragraph. And number four, write your answers in full sentences and clear handwriting. Again, boys and girls, read the text more than once, read the questions, read the first sentence of each paragraph and write your answers in full sentences and clear handwriting. Now let's read the text together. Listen carefully and follow with me. Butterflies are beautiful. They have four wings. They cannot hear. They live everywhere except cold places because they can't fly when it's cold. Butterflies taste with their front feet. They feed mostly on nectar and pollen from flowers. The life cycle of a butterfly has four stages. Egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and adult butterfly. Female butterflies are usually larger and live longer. Now let's answer the questions. A. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. Number one. The best title for the text is A. The life cycle of a butterfly B. Nectar and pollen C. Female butterflies or D. Ants and ladybirds Again, the best title for the text is A. The life cycle of a butterfly B. Nectar and pollen C. Female butterflies or D. Ants and ladybirds What do you think, boys and girls? Take a minute. That's right. The answer is A, the life cycle of a butterfly. Number two, the underlined word they in line three refers to A, wings, B, places, C, butterflies, D, feet. Again, the underlined word they in line number three refers to A, wings, B, places, C, butterflies, or D, feet. Go to the paragraph, read to find the answer. That's right. The answer is butterflies. The underlined word, they, in line number three, refers to C, butterflies. Number three, the opposite of the underlined word, larger, in line number two, means A, slower, B, smaller, C, shorter, or D, hotter. Again, the opposite of the underlined word larger in line number two means A, slower, B, smaller, C, shorter, or D, hotter. Let's read together. Egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and adult butterfly. Female butterflies are usually larger and live longer. We want to identify the opposite of the word larger. What do you think, boys and girls? That's right. The answer is smaller. The opposite of the underlined word, larger in line number two, is B, smaller. All right, boys and girls. Now, I want you to answer the following questions. How do butterflies taste food? How do butterflies taste food? Go back to the paragraph, read and find the answer. How do butterflies taste? Let's read together. Butterflies are beautiful. They have four wings. They cannot hear. They live everywhere except cold places because they can't fly when it is cold. Butterflies taste with their front feet. So, the answer is butterflies taste with their front feet. How do butterflies taste food? They taste food with their front feet. Number three, what are the stages of a butterfly life cycle? Go back to the paragraph to find the answer. 
That's right. The answer is the butterfly life cycle has four stages. Egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and adult butterfly. All right, boys and girls. We are done with the reading comprehension and the questions. You have a homework. Go to your pupil's book, page 50. Read and then answer the questions. I will do the first one with you. Number one, what is the story about? It's about the wild animals. Read the story carefully and answer the rest of the questions. We've reached to the end of this episode, boys and girls. In this episode, we learned how to use a new vocabulary in meaningful sentences and how to answer reading comprehension questions. Thank you so much for watching us today. I hope to see you on the next episode. Goodbye for now.